So what is it about these eggs, I love them too, that is, makes it everybody's favorite? I suppose just the combination, you know, tomatoes, onions, and cheese is automatically something that uh, everybody likes on, on top of But it's of also cooked egg. so nicely. It's not overcooked. This can be a disaster, by the way, if it is overcooked. You do not want to overcook these eggs, right? No, absolutely yes. not. You want the yellow to stay nice on a, yes. a runny, basically. Right. So, okay, so let's get started. I'll make one and you make one. Yep. We, Tell us how you made these beautiful confit uh, of tomatoes. The tomatoes. So, tomato, basically, we just going to record them. Uh, we do a little X on the top of the tomato. We plunge them in boiling water, then uh, cool them down in ice water. And peel. On, and then peel. So, okay. basically, it's quite easy to peel. You oh, see yeah, that look. The, oh, yeah. the, the peel is quite uh, loose. Loose, exactly. Right. So, that's. Uh, yeah, because you don't want that, and you don't want the peel actually in the eggs. It would, it would look exactly. not nice. And so we're going to uh, cut them in half, uh -huh. and basically now we're just going to uh, uh, empty them. Oh, okay. So we're just going to take this little oh, So you inside. take each one out. Exactly. You don't squeeze it. You can squeeze it as well. Yeah. It might work just as well. So I'm doing this way if you want I'll to, show squeeze you how to squeeze yours. I, when I do a lot of these, I have to squeeze them. Exactly. We, it, we squeeze them in the restaurant. You do? Uh, yeah, we do. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> so... Okay, yeah, Once see, they're done, we put see them it takes a little less time to squeeze, but exactly. don't break the tomato if, when you're doing this. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't even matter there. It's pretty pretty empty. Exactly. So okay. we're just putting a little bit of salt and pepper on, on top of them. We put a little bit of uh, thyme, uh, crushed, uh, just crushed like that garlic for the flavor. Oh, yeah. A little bit of olive oil. Oops. Again. And now we're just going to bake them in the oven. Now, don't throw away the innards of mm -hmm. the tomatoes. Just put this in a little cheesecloth, and you make your own fresh tomato exactly. juice, right? Exactly, you can do tomato sauce. It's white when you drink it, uh, clear when you drink it, but it's so good. Exactly. I love it. Okay. So that's going in the oven now for uh, 45 to 50 minutes okay. at 325. And this is and what... That's the result, exactly. Yeah, look, very dry. Not too dry, not tough, but, uh, but dry and... Perfect for eggs. Exactly, okay. and the, the, the flavor is really concentrated now in the tomato. So we have so our little hot little non -stick hot pan. pan. So we're going to put three quarter of a teaspoons of butter. We're going to melt it. So very little. Yep, exactly. You could use a little olive oil, right? You can. You can replace the butter by yeah. olive oil. But I think the flavor is so good with the with the butter. So exactly. So now we're just going to crack uh, two eggs each, okay. unless you want uh, only one or. Two. Oh no, sometimes you put three. I put three. Kevin wants uh, two times two, so I do it. Oh, uh, okay. So, mm, beautiful eggs. Perfect eggs. Mm -hmm. Here's another. Thank you. These come fr fresh from the chicken coop. I think that's another thing that makes these so good. Ah, the these quality eggs. of the eggs yes. uh, helps definitely on the quality of the, the dish. So we should just this be on as low as it is? Uh, you can, we can just put it, it a, a little, little bit, bit higher okay. because we're going to do the uh, onions at the time being and let them cook uh, down here. So we're going to okay. add a bit of uh, salt and pepper. I like how the pepper looks on the, mm -hmm. on the fresh egg. Definitely. Okay. And we, don't, we are just going to let them bake night. So that's, this process uh, is going to take approximately two minutes. Okay. Say. So uh, meanwhile, we're going to do the, um, to the onions. So we have uh, two regular onions. We're just going to chop one of them. And we're going to do the caramelized onions by chopping them finely. And they smell so good. So just brown those in butter too. Brown so those in butter, yeah, exactly. Actually, you're going to caramelize them, in. and when they're done, they look mm -hmm. like this. So beautiful. Any salt and pepper? Uh, salt and pepper, yeah. exactly. So okay. we're going to sear them on uh, for approximately uh, 30 minutes. Okay. And we had uh, two tablespoons of butter down here. But okay, now these look pretty, pretty. So th th those ready, eggs are. Right? Practically done. Now yes. we're just going yours. It's a bit more done than mine. Right. Uh, add the. Okay, I'll turn bring it a bit higher. Here we so go. Tomatoes so now next we're going to add onions? the tomato, exactly. So we're going to put the tomato, exactly. How many pieces? Like, so it depends, really. Matter, I would right? put, yeah, exactly. I would put two or, two, okay. or two or three. And then we're going to uh, put some onions as well. So those onions have been nicely caramelized. Oh, they and, smell uh, so good. And, uh, if necessary, we can always add water to these onions uh, right. if they get too dry or burn the bottom so of the So, Kevin, the what, what appeals to you about this dish? <clears throat> the eggs. The I eggs like, themselves. I like the eggs and the onions. Okay. So, yeah, absolutely. So, that's just beautiful here. I'm going to add some onions as well. So, we are not putting them on top of the uh, yolks, on the yolks no. because you don't want to hide the yolks. Neither. We're going to put some cheese. Some, that's some Conte cheese that oh, we have done here. Oh, the Conte is such a good cheese, sliced. Exactly. 
Okay. So I'm stopping mine. Okay. So cheese as well. So you can either put it whole or sizing so still always playing with the color to be sure you have some nice, some red, and some brown okay. all around. There we go. There. And now we're just going to put it under the broiler for for uh, approximately ten seconds. Just oh, okay. time enough to have the the. Doesn't this the, look great, everybody? It's really delicious. There we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So ten seconds, and don't walk away. Don't answer the telephone. <laughs> Uh, don't answer the UPS man at the door and because you start to chat your eggs will be totally ruined So that's a tiny little bit longer okay. so the 10 seconds will not pass. Okay, so are you making eggs at the restaurant? I'm doing eggs uh, and the prefix for lunch. Oh. We have uh, the, the eggs as well I change every week and then I made those already a couple of times to be honest And, and people then, love them? And people love oh, them yeah, for I sure. Bet. Mm. I bet. Okay, so how does it look? Mm-hmm, the cheese just yep. started to melt. Yep. Perhaps a little 30 seconds here. Oh, uh, five seconds longer. Yep. And then we're just going to chop a little bit of basil on top of it. Well, or I'll bring them over. If you mm -hmm. want to go chop the basil, okay. I'll, bring, okay, the, I'll bring the eggs. And what's the most popular thing at your restaurant? Oh, the most popular, definitely, uh, the scallops that we do. We have a skate ring as well that, that people enjoy very much. Mm. The so these slide right out, right? That slides right oh, out. Make sure on the your plate. plate is warm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's what comes to oh my gosh, that's that is a good, healthy breakfast. Beautiful. So beautiful. You just add a little bit of chopped uh, basil on top of it. Oops. And brioche toast. Oh, I love the brioche toast. So pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay. And some brioche down here. And that is mm -hmm. eggs a la terre. Yeah, exactly.